Hey guys, got another fire for you, courtesy of David Wood. Um, he's, yeah, he pretty much wrote this thing. I made a couple of changes just to reflect how you would uh, you would tackle the question in an exam situation, but apart from that, it, all the credit goes for him. So, thank you for that. Um, moving on, it's this question, 6.3, current power and energy and a capacitance is fairly simple even when you're looking at it as a question in an exam. In, in, in this case, it, it probably will be a little bit more complicated in the exam. I think it is. Uh, in the mid sem, it might not be. I don't recall this kind of question being in the mid sem, but I do recall it being in the final exam, so that's something to study for. Apart from that, um, yeah, let's, let's do an example. Alright, so basically what you want to be looking at here, first of all, is your capacitance, 56 microfarads, and your T value, which is 13. And the next lot of numbers, you want to see um, which, which values your Tx lies between. In this case, Tx lies between 11 and 18, so it'll be the function between 11 and 18. That looks fairly linear, but it probably isn't. But um, yeah, basically, you take your x1 as being 11, your y1 as your xt, um, so tx rather, I think, 30, um, x2 will be 18, and that lies on 0. And then from there, basically all it does is your VC is just what this line would be in the straight line form. Pretty straightforward, to be honest. Um, then from there, you differentiate in, term, in, in respect to X, and then you integrate between 11 and 18. Sorry, sorry, you, you, you integrate between... Uh, x1 and tx, my mistake. And th th this this is all outlined in the help file. That, that calculates from vt, your voltage. And then from there, multiply again by the current function, and then another equation which you can find in the help. It's all pretty straightforward. Another one with just equations, but once you've got all these numbers plugged in, shift enter, copy your values in, Good try. Voila! 100%. Yeah, that's all there is to it, really. Again, uh, thanks a lot to David Wood. I've been completely out of it this week. I've been busy with work, so it's good to see people helping out as well. It lightens my load. <laughs> it's good to feel. And yeah, hopefully I can get 6.4 up soon. Um, 6.5, I think, has also been tackled by... Someone else who was it? Um, Ali. Ali tackled 6.5, so I'll be using that and also uploading both his file, which he's done in Excel, and then making another one in uh, Mathematica for everyone who use, seems to be using Mathematica, if you prefer it that way. It's it's quite nice to lay it out in Excel, um, but yeah, for consistency, I suppose, I'll do both. But yeah. Um, it really is good to see you guys putting the effort in as well. I, I do appreciate it, and I hope everyone else does too. So give these these guys a round of applause. Be sure to thank them on Facebook, and I look forward to this stuff continuing. All right, good luck.